everybody. Today is a fabulous day, the day after elections, and I think Mayor Finch would uh, agree with me that it was an exciting election, uh, certainly in the, for the city of Bridgeport and uh, for, for our new uh, incumbents, or I should say our incumbents and our new uh, elected officials. Uh, today, very happy, proud to present a partnership that involves the city of Bridgeport, the arena at Harvey Yard, Bridgeport Sound Tigers, but most importantly, Sacred Heart University. Over the past five years, Jim Barquinero, the Vice President at Sacred Heart, and I have worked on a means by which we can develop a relationship with Division I Hockey and the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. The Bridgeport Sound Tigers, as the AHL affiliated New York Islanders, seek to promote hockey throughout our region whether that be in Fairfield County, the city of Bridgeport, the state of Connecticut. And we're very proud that our partnership with Sacred Heart has developed and, and also the partnership is a function of two people, two very important people within the Sacred Heart community. That is Don Cook, who's the executive director of athletics and Elizabeth Lucky, the director of athletics. So without further ado, I'd like to pass the baton to our esteemed mayor for a few comments, and then we'll pass it on to Mr. Cook. Thank you very much, Harry. That was, uh, it was really an exciting evening. Uh, but I think um, I'd have to say that the most exciting thing that I've done here, other than see the Sound Tigers uh, score, uh, or the Stag score, or the Pioneers uh, play, uh, is to uh, be in the room next door and to shake the hand of the President of the United States and have my picture taken with him. That was quite a thrill on Saturday. Uh, and uh, the only thing I was hoping was we could have sold all those people a ticket to a Sound Tiger game while they were here. But they were sold on a phenomenal facility. We're so lucky to have this facility. We're so lucky to have Sacred Heart uh, so involved in the city of Bridgeport. We treasure our relationship with that school. Uh, I know that Tony Sonera is on to other things right now, but for many, many years, uh, Tony was, and I sh shouldn't call him Tony, I suppose, but that's, that's the relationship the city and the mayors before me and I have always had with Tony Sonera and, and Sacred Heart. So we're very excited about this opportunity. We think that uh, hockey has uh, tremendous growth potential in Fairfield County. Uh, the, as a hockey dad myself, um, I, I love it when I see uh, people competing and playing hockey. It's an exciting, exciting sport. There's very few sports that have ever been invented that have the speed and the agility and the skill level uh, that the, the sport of hockey has. When you have a, when you have a child who plays hockey, you, you realize they have to learn an entire skill set before they can play the game. They have to learn how to be a great skater before they can even play the game. So it's an exciting sport because of that. It's a dual skill sport. There's the sports skill and then the skating skill. And if you can't do both, you can't play hockey. So it's really exciting for me. Uh, when I know when I come to a Sound Tiger game, I can come here early uh, and I can see uh, the professionals of the future, perhaps. And I can see my hometown hockey team that I can cheer on. So it's really great for us. We have a great partnership with Sacred Heart University. We cherish it and we can only get stronger from here on in. So best of luck to the Sound Tigers this season. Uh, we're doing pretty well so far. I see a few areas with the improvement. I'm sure you do too. <laughs> you can go behind the bench if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I really, I'm just very happy to be here, very proud of our arena, uh, of the Islanders management, of the Sound Tigers, and of Sacred Heart University. Don, you've been there for many years. I'm sure this is one of the nice notches that you're putting in your belt. So. Uh, Let's hope that the fans appreciate it, and I'm sure they will. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Don Cook, Executive Director. Well, thank you very much, Howard, and thank you, Mayor, for you taking the time out after a crazy night like you had. I don't know if you, you must sleep standing up. But um, we finished having ballots at 6 It's a very exciting time. Obviously, for the history of the city of Bridgeport, and obviously, uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that we are going to be given this opportunity to do what we think will help us redefine where we are 
in the sport of ice hockey. I, uh, when I think about when we started back in 1993, when Jim and I first started talking about ice hockey, I could never imagine being here today talking about playing in this uh, wonderful venue. And uh, the timing is, is, is just perfect, I think, in so many ways, because uh, our program has evolved and developed and matured uh, to the point now where we are a perennial top tier team in our league. Last year, we, we lost in the finals uh, of our, our conference championship against RIT, and they wound up going, making it all the way to the final four and the final game. So that makes a statement about who we are in the hockey world. But I think even more important than that, it's going to give us a chance, Howard, uh, because of the work that you and Jim have done together in making this happen, is we're going to be able to redefine who we are in the hockey world, particularly, obviously, on the collegiate level. Uh, and it's going to provide a marketing niche, I think, for us, as well as for you, that I think only could have positive outcomes uh, as we develop this consortium together. Uh, we, uh, we're very much appreciative uh, and, uh, and thrilled that you thought enough to work this through for us so that we can partner together to make both programs all that they can be. And I think that uh, there's a lot to look forward to as we go forward. Well, it won't be five or six games this time around. Maybe down the road it'll be more than that. But I think having a, a, a venue like this is certainly going to help us in the recruitment area and uh, help us market the program the way that's befitting the quality of the program we have. And I don't want to embarrass this guy, C.J. Maritolo, but uh, I found him on the street back in uh, September of last year. Uh, we had a sudden uh, resignation of our coach, and I didn't know where I'd find a coach that would be able to match up against the standard that we had. And uh, we were three and nine when I finally got him on the ice. And the next time I turned around, we had won 13 straight games. So somehow or other, in spite of myself, we made a good decision, and uh, we're thrilled to have him here. Uh, he's not that good yet because he hasn't won the damn league yet, but uh, I'll give him another year or two. This year. Um, and I uh, obviously want to thank you and Jim for working this through for us because this is a, a chance for us to move on to the next level. Thank you very much. Just a few comments before I pass the mic over to CJ. Um, Jim's going to be a little embarrassed about this, but Jim Barquinero uh, came to me several years ago and basically said, how do we get D1 hockey in Bridgeport? How do we make it happen? And through his persistence, and for those of you who know him, he is a persistent SOB, um, we were managed to structure a deal that the Sacred Heart Pioneers can be here six times this year, eight times next year, 10 times the year following. And quite frankly, we want this to be their home. We want to see them evolve into a D1 power, very much like their brethren at Yale and Quinnipiac. Um, and as well, we'd like to get Fairfield back into D1 hockey. You know, this is great. Where else can you find potentially four Division I hockey teams with an arena like this? And. Uh, Winnipeg is a very nice barn, and, and the Whale is a very nice barn, but they don't hold the candle to the arena at Harvey Yard. The arena at Harvey Yard is an 8,000 plus facility that hosts the NCAA Frozen Four Regionals, that hosts the New York Islanders, that hosts the Bridgeport South Tigers. So Jim, thank you for having the faith in us. Thank you for having the faith in me. Um, and we welcome the partnership. And a funny story, for those of you who follow the Bridgeport Sound Tigers, you'll know of our former coach, Dave Vesigio. And uh, Dave Vesigio is a gentleman who I'm still friends with, even though he's with the Anaheim Ducks. And uh, last, last September, I call him up and I said, Dave, you know, you're, you're a big Yale guy. What's with this CJ person? Who is he? And he said, oh, CJ, he's a great coach. I said, come on, Dave. How's he ever going to turn around the Sacred Heart? How's he going to make him a powerhouse? And his comments to me were, just you wait and see, CJ will make them a top 20 team. So without further ado, CJ Merlin. Thank you, Howard, for the kind comments. Uh, thank you, Mayor, for coming after obviously a long night, and thank you everybody else for coming. This is uh, an exciting time for our program. Um, to forge a, a relationship with Howard and, and Bridgeport and the New York Islanders. Uh, it's a very exciting, not just for me, but more importantly, our players. 
when they heard of this opportunity, it was on the horizon. Uh, they saw their eyes light up, big smiles on their face. Uh, to have an opportunity to play at a venue like this, uh, one of the top facilities, not only in New England, but in the country, to have hockey, uh, they just couldn't wait to get out here. Um, as Don mentioned, I think this could put us on the map nationally uh, with our recruiting. To bring a young man who's thinking about going to college into a, a rink like this, it makes a difference. Kids like sexy things. And uh, this arena here at Harbor Yard is very sexy and it'll get their attention and they'll, they'll know that Sacred Heart, hockey's important at Sacred Heart. And it's a flagship sport and uh, they're gonna do everything that they can to put, uh, give our student athletes the best opportunity to, to be the best that they can be. And being here uh, with this relationship is gonna, it's gonna do that. And uh, we get started here on Saturday and uh, we first have to get through Bentley tonight. Um, but I'll tell you, we'll be ready to go and be very excited to get here. Thank you.